So see I have two cabinet doors here side by side. On the left here is a yellowish discolored door and I've spray painted this door to be satin white and you can see the difference here. Now if I pan back and forth and go through the glare you could see how smooth and even this finish is. You know there's no pooling, there's no wrinkles, there's no dimples and I am going to share with you the five tips that I use to create this smooth even finish. So tip number one is a light coat. So what does a light coat mean? So a light coat requires you to go back and forth like this and spray this area back and forth no more than two three seconds. If you've sprayed it more than two three seconds what ends up happening is the paint's going to start to pool in unevenly in certain areas so you absolutely do not want that so that is tip number one is to go back and forth you know in this waving motion and overlap a little bit but no more than two three seconds so in this area here where it is uh, a foot by two and a half feet I've spent no more than 25 seconds spraying this entire thing and I do have pauses in between where I am you know looking at the glare so if it's a light color you might have to use the lighting to look at the glare and see what areas you've painted if it's a dark color it becomes a little bit more apparent so you know light coats expect two three coats and that is tip number one tip number two is to maintain that 12 inch distance and it's very tempting to go closer and thinking you're spraying that particular area but once again don't do that that will cause the paint to pool and concentrate in certain areas you do want to maintain a further distance that's 12 inches to 16 inches but uh, around 12 inches is actually about right so that's tip number two tip number three is to trust in the drying process so when you are doing a light coat like this you're going to use the lighting and you're going to pan your eyes back and forth as I am right now using the glare and what you might see is that certain areas are shinier than others now don't be tempted to spray more on the uh, areas that are not as shiny because uh, you know you might over pool other areas just let it dry for 10 minutes and go for the second coat so trusting in the drying process means that when those areas might look uneven because it's a thin coat it will dry evenly now applying the second coat you wait 10 minutes to apply the second coat because you've done a light coat you know don't you don't have to wait one hour you don't have to wait half hour you know just wait that 10 12 minutes and then do the second coat uh, especially for uh, paints like these whether it's Krylon or Rust-Oleum it dries to the touch in about 20 minutes so you know just keep that in mind tip number three trust in the drying process if you've done a light coat now tip number four is to avoid a powder situation what I what do I mean by that so you'll notice here I have a lot of dimples in, in, in fact a lot of pigment ends up being you know a lot of dotted areas and the reason for that is before I do a second coat or if I have uh, put this spray can down for an extended period of time and I'm re, uh, you know redoing another coat I want to spray in a test area and make sure that powdery stuff isn't coming out so powdery stuff might tend to come out in a lot of these it's happened to me actually in every bottle here where where these things would spit out and what I would have to do is actually clean the nozzle but also spray to the point in a test area where the powder isn't coming out anymore you can imagine how this would ruin your your smooth finish and if it ever happens you would actually have to re-sand everything and redo it so importantly tip number four is to spray in a test area make sure none of the powder stuff is coming out you know so you know just keep that in mind tip number five is avoiding wrinkles so of why does wrinkles happen so wrinkles happen when you have too heavy of a coat on the surface itself 
and the surface has dried, but underneath it is still liquid. So it's going to dry unevenly. The top's going to dry faster than the bottom and it's going to start to crinkle and wrinkle. Especially if you put a second coat that is light on it and you speed up the drying process of the surface versus the pool of paint underneath that is uh, still liquid and wet. So don't do that. That goes back to tip number one, which is, um, you know, many small coats. And uh, what people mean by that, again, is, you know, spending two, three seconds on one area overlapping back and forth. Uh, and you could see, you know, just how beautiful a finish it could actually become if, you know, that is the technique that you use. And uh, those are the five tips that I have to offer. And I hope this helps. And please subscribe. And thank you for watching.